Well, unemployment percentage numbers may be in double digits, but listen up. Yeah, tough times and high gas prices. You know, a lot of people getting a lot more creative out there. J.R. Stone shows us how one man is helping a good way. He's hoping a good way help it go a long way. Watch out, Lance is riding to a neighborhood near you. But this is not the Lance we've come to know in the Tour de France. This is Mr. Lance Brannigan, a professional sharpener in Maitland. Designed it so I can sort of bring back the old-fashioned way of sharpening, going door to door, and uh, um, something that hasn't been done for a long time. In a time when budgets are tight and jobs are hard to come by, Lance is doing it all himself. He rides his cart to sharpen just about anything, as long as it's within a couple miles of his Maitland home. His most worked on items? Kitchen knives. It's a cool idea. It's really fun. And tell me how your knives are working out for you. Oh, they're great. They're really sharp. <laughs> Watch out when you're cooking. My knives are dull. <laughs> yeah, you've got well. real dull knives. How long have you had these dull knives? I've had these dull knives 20 years, so they need sharpening. I cook a lot at home, and I use my knives every day. And I've been wanting to get them sharpened. That's why when I saw his car, I was... Or I you turned it and I went back. I went my got my knives and I dropped them off. Lance's sharpening cart might be convenient for folks in the neighborhood, but take a look on top. It's also ideal for him. Those are solar panels. That's the bike running right now. I don't I barely hear it. Yeah, and that's just the fans going for cooling. Um so yeah, I say I don't have to I don't have to stand here with a noisy generator pumping away um, fumes everywhere. In Lance's first month, he was able to round up 55 customers, which covers the cost of his new solar-powered bike. Times may be bad, but right now the roadway is clear for Lance. In fact, he works on his own schedule, which means he sounds his horns when he chooses to. Does it feel like a nap after pedaling the bike around? I'll come home and have a nap. <laughs> All right, if you uh, don't have to live in Maitland,